Welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. Today's video, we're talking exciting new products from your friends here at the House of Power. What the heck? Chain guard coming off during the race. It's cost everybody a race here and there. Championships are going down. We're losing races. We've got unhappy kids. And it's a sad drive home when you get the meatball and you can't finish your race because your chain guard's flown off the go-kart. Well, we've got a solution for you here at the House of Power. Introducing Power Lock by your friends here at the House of Power. This little baby is going to lock your chain guard to your cart so you never get disqualified again because this baby comes loose amid a race. It's super important and I'm going to show you how it works. So the original Tony Kart chain guard comes with these two hex nuts and they slip down here into this little bracket and we can tighten them up with the two M6 flare nuts here and they clamp down on the bracket which is a good solution. The problems start when these start to get a little bit worn and they come loose off the chain guard and then halfway through the race you know you can't get these nuts tight it slips out flies off the cart and you're left with no chain guard and that is a technical irregulation and you're going to get black flagged so you're going to have to come in and not finish the race and this is going to kill your championship hopes and dreams so by deleting the hex nuts which were the weak link and introducing the new power lock by power of public you can actually Fix the chain guard to the car and it will never come loose ever again. So let's go and show you how to fit this bad boy to the chain guard and install it on the go-kart. To do this job, you'll need a 4mm Allen key, a 10mm ring spanner, and a 22mm ring spanner, and some lock pipe. The first thing we're going to do is remove the original hardware, and then we can install the power lock. The power lock's got the standard 105mm hole centers, which will fit the standard Tony car chain guard bracket, just like so. So if your original chain guard's been drilled already, you can fit this guy up to the chain guard, no problems. Otherwise, you're going to have to mark out the two holes. On the new carts, you can see here the holes are drilled a little bit lower so that we can clear this part off the sprocket carrier. If you drill these ones, you're going to have to chop this part of the chain guard out with some tin snips or a grinder or something along these lines. But as you can see, this one's already been drilled. So we're going to install the power lock into the original position. To make installation a little bit easier, I'm actually going to drill two holes through here so that we can put our Allen key down to get to the head of the cap screw. And these ones are button heads, and that'll make the installation so much easier. Now that you've got the power lock installed, it should marry up with the bracket just perfectly and we're ready to install it on the cart. So now we're ready to reinstall the chain guard assembly on the cart with the old uh, two is one and one is none. This part being interlinked now, even if one of these was to fail or come loose, uh, the other one's going to hold the chain guard onto the go-kart. So you should be able to finish your race as intended. Alright guys, thanks heaps for tuning in. If you've made it this far, there's a little introductory bono code coming out, YouTube20. If you type that in on our website, www.powerpublic.com.au, you can get yourself the new power lock, 20% off, but it's limited to the first 50 people. So get in and get on that for this first week of the Power Public Power Lock Chain Guard Solution. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.